Hi there. Uh, this is the second part uh, to my modification of a adapter that goes in the dividing head and um, I'm going to have to uh, this is no good anymore this this section here so I'm going to have to um, uh, machine it down and uh, so that it will fit a three quarter inch uh, 16 thread um, at the moment I think it's a 10 thread I'm not sure at the moment it measures uh, one inch so um, that's what I had on the on the Drummond and so anyway I've just um, I set this up with my uh, life sander at this end at the spindle and I'm using the Tag um, little small tiny sander that goes in the tailstock and um, I've got it set up so that the there's very little uh, overhang uh, at this end I can move the tailstock further out but that means that this half inch uh, center um, revolving center is further out and there's more the further you go out the the more flex there is um, but one of the problems with these tiny lays and and particularly with the tag is the tailstock is um, although it's it works okay within reason uh, it it could be better designed uh, the problem is that even if I move this tailstock out so that it's right out at this end here um, I still have very little travel as you can see on the saddle I have very little travel and the the cross slide is over here now I've got to get the tool bit right over to this side to do any machining so um, that was one of the reasons why I designed uh, this uh, uh, guided tailstock on a separate guideway uh, along here at the back and so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set this my new tailstock up uh, and then that will allow me to move the saddle right underneath uh, the tailstock so give me lots lots of room so I've already uh, dialed this up all I did was I put the tailstock on the on the bed and pushed in the um, revolving center and did no adjustments whatsoever and on the reading of I'll, I'll, I'll just put this in this is um if you remember in one of my other um, videos I showed you this <coughs> holder here that does two things it holds the tool bit uh, in the slot there and so I put a a hole in the top there blind hole and um, there's a little screw in here a little grub screw or uh, a set screw and it's got a ball bearing coming out inside the hole and when I push that down inside there I can then move it around without any clamping and it's pretty it's it's pretty uh, stable when I come down on something like this and I'll just start it up and I hope you can see that um, I've got approximately half a thou run out and I checked this end as well and it's the same so I know that um, <clears throat> this tailstock is is set okay 
I can't run it along the top there to see whether it's up or down. Uh, I just don't have the travel. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to assume that everything's fine. So when I go to machine this, it will actually be true with the shank that goes into the hole, into the collet holder. Um, I've, I've come up, in my last video I spoke to you about, um, I have no idea how I'm going to put a new thread on here and have it running true when I put a chuck on, when I put the hard in, the, um, the tape chuck on. Um, so I've had to, I have to come up with some way of producing a three quarter inch 16 thread and having it run true on this adapter. So what I've decided to do, and I think this will work out fine, is I'm going to make a separate three quarter inch 16 thread. I have a uh, brand new die that I bought, uh, 3 quarter 16, and I've got a die holder with the sliding, uh, the sliding holder in the tailstock. So <clears throat> I'm going to um, see if I can thread a piece of mold steel with the die, and I'm going to leave the shank slightly larger than three quarter inch and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread that into my three jaw chuck uh, tape chuck I'm going to screw that in and then I'm going to hold the chuck in the four jaw with the thread sticking out facing out this way and True up the three jaw, the three jaw in the four jaw, and get it running true on the face and on the periphery, and then I'm going to machine the blank part of the three quarter inch sixteen thread. I'm going to machine it down to a, a size, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to machine all of this off. I'm going to just cut it off and machine it, holding it in a four jaw, and bore it out. And I'm going to make it a a good fit on the on the little short length of thread, the new thread, so that it fits in there. And I'm hoping that. In that way, any irregularity on the thread is going to be is going to be eliminated, and when it fits in the in the bore that I put in here, a nice a nice good fit, it should be running true. I know this is a little bit it's a little bit fiddly what I'm trying to explain to you. You'll see what I'm getting at when as I as I go along. Um, obviously it's going to take quite a few videos to show you all this, uh, but this is the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is to, um, I'm going to take this tailstock off and put my new one on and make sure that this is running true exactly as it is. Uh, with the new tail stock and then I'll be able to machine things down. Um, I might even put this in the four jaw and do away with this center because I know everything's running true off that center. Um, so I'll put it in a four jaw probably and true it up and cut most of that off and um, and then face it and bore it. Uh, so that's probably the first job that I'm going to do. It, 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 it's working on a small lathe like this, you've got to think about 
how many steps ahead you're going to be because um, it, it, you, you find that you set something up and then you find, oh, I haven't got enough room to get the tool bit in position or um, for check-in and stuff like that. So you'll have to bear with me as I go along, but at the same time, it might be an education to anybody who is contemplating and buying one of these small uh, machines and some of the problems that come with it. So I'm going to stop the video now and then I'm going to set this up in the four jaw running through with that section there sliced off. I'm going to cut that off on the bandsaw. There's no point in trying to machine it. And then I'll, I'll machine and, and bore, drill and bore, and uh, I'll, I'll use my new tailstock to do this. So you'll see that in future videos. Okay, I'm going to call off now. Unfortunately, I don't know how to join videos together. If I could do that, it would be nice because then I could, you could watch a whole long process all in one go but um, anyway too bad uh, so I'll call off now and, and be back with you later